to take? Um, it's very tough. I think that uh, you know you 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 hit 0 and 13, and then you touch 0 and 14, and you hit 0 and 15, and you start uh, allowing it to creep into your mind a little bit. And you guys ask a lot of questions about it, and you ignore it as much as you can. But uh, it's here, and um, you know it's a uh, it's a tough spot to be in. Um, I'm a winless quarterback in this league. Never won. You know, had, a, had a little bit of success in preseason, but um, it's going to be uh, tough to swallow it. But uh, you can trust that this is probably my most in, important year of my life. Um, I think that it's going to be the, the driving factor that allows me to become the best quarterback I can become um, that will eventually lead Cleveland into some of the most success that it's ever had. Completely agree. I think that um, throughout this year, you, you've seen um, us being very close as an offense. Uh, through uh, Coach Jackson's system, I think that we uh, can have a lot of success, and we will have a lot of success. It's about uh, me doing whatever I can as a, the quarterback and leader of this team to help develop um, some guys throughout the rest of this offseason, uh, make sure that uh, you know we, we self-reflect and, and do a lot of self-scouting ourselves to, to fix a lot of the hiccups and uh, simply turn the ball over less. And I think that that will uh, be a, a, an adequate formula for us to come back out next year and um, you know allow his system to, to play out into what it can become. Deshaun, what did you say to Corey Coleman and his point after that? Show? We'll keep that between ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Completely different team. Um, I think that obviously we've rotated quite a few guys you know, on our roster, um, you know, from bringing in uh, Josh to, uh, you know, having a new receiving core quite a bit of the year rotating in and out. Um, finally, we, we had a set of core guys that we know are our guys. And, um, and those guys are continuing to learn the system and becoming comfortable in the system. And uh, once we uh, can perfect that and, and execute our job at a higher level, uh, I think that this team will, will continue to grow and, and become a, a very good offense and a, a, and a winning organization. You were thrown into a very difficult situation this whole entire season. You did the best, obviously, uh, that you could with this. Um, but did you still take a lot on yourself for all the turnovers? And did you put a lot of that on your shoulders? Absolutely. You know, I, uh, my standards for myself are higher than anyone else's, higher than your guys', higher than the coaches', higher than uh, Mr. Haslam. Mr. Dorsey, um, I, I'm going to take this one hard, but uh, more importantly, this is a, a cool opportunity, an opportunity to be in a position where uh, I still have a lot of youth and I'll be able to play for a long time, hopefully, and I'll be able to learn a lot from this. Deshaun, uh, how have you grown this year? Do a little self-scouting for me. How have you grown this year? Uh, you know, it's be tough to, to, to give you the, the proper answer on that. I think that after a couple of weeks of self-scout, uh, we'll be able to, to figure it out. But uh, um, from uh, a, a small point of view right now, I believe that I, I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about this game and how difficult it is to win. Um, I think I've become a better leader. Um, I think I've become a better man of faith. I think I've become a better quarterback overall. And, and that was the ultimate goal this year. Um, uh, it, it would have been naive of me at the beginning of the year to say that we're going to go out and, and go 16-0 and in the regular season and go on and win the Super Bowl. Um, that, that was not our goal. Our goal was uh, to, to develop me into a, a better man, develop me into a better teammate, and to become a better quarterback. And I think I did so this year. In this game today, there were times it looked like you were just determined to strap this team on your back and, and try to carry it to victory as, as best you possibly could. Uh, did you feel that you know responsibility to try to get that win this monkey off your back and, and do everything? Absolutely. As a, as a quarterback, you know, you, you have a lot of responsibility at all times. And, um, you know, whether you win, whether you lose, um, that, that monkey is always going to be on your back. Uh, it can be good. It can be bad. Um, I think today was uh, another showing of how this team fights, um, how no matter, you know, how much, you know, you throw at us, uh, you, you throw, you know, an 0 for season, you throw uh, some very adverse situations throughout the year, we're going to fight back. And, um, you know, we're very close of, of uh, fighting enough to, to get us a win today. Do you feel like you showed uh, John Dorsey some things in the last few games, just yourself? 
Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think that um, it'd be tough to evaluate me in, in the few weeks that he's been there, and I'm sure that he's going to go back and evaluate um, our whole system, our whole organization. Um, to, to put, obviously, 0-16 on his record would be uh, false. Uh, it, it's going to be a, a fun offseason and learning a lot about ourselves, learning a lot about his organization and what he plans on doing with it, and hopefully you know, implementing myself into a position uh, that makes a, a big impact on what he wants to do. Are you up for whatever challenge comes your way uh, in the offseason in terms of who else they throw at you? No, absolutely, absolutely. You know, statistically, uh, this league, uh, you're, you're going to get a new quarterback into your meeting room every year. Um, whether it be a guy that you pay a lot of money, whether it be a guy you draft in a high spot, um, a guy who uh, comes over and, and is trying to prove himself, uh, it's all about doing whatever you can to individually uh, put yourself in the best position to, to show your, who you are. Um, I think that uh, my ultimate goal this year was to, to you know, become a better quarterback and to earn respect to my teammates. I've been able to do so. Now it's time to build on that and put myself in a position where I know that I can be the starting quarterback next year. Absolutely. Do you think you're better off right now because you came from Brown? Oh, absolutely. Um, once again, this is this is about uh, you know me improving myself as as a person, as a teammate, um, and, and then again as a quarterback. And uh, what I've been able to learn in this last uh, season is, has been uh, some of the most important lessons that I, I'll ever have in my life. And I truly believe that uh, now it's about making sure that I maximize on these opportunities and learn from these lessons. Yeah, I mean, I feel the same way. Um, speculations are, are uh, what they are, they're opinions. And um, it's on us just to make sure that we can do whatever we can to get better. Uh, you know, when I got drafted here, uh, Coach Jackson sat me in his office and said, you know, we're going to ride through this together. And there's going to be some low points, there's going to be some high points, but uh, at the end of this, there'll be light. And um, I could still completely uh, trust in that. Um, I continue to sit in that office and, and still, still get the same message. Um, so it's on, it's on us to make sure that um, as a head coach and quarterback duo and offensive coordinator in there, uh, that we uh, do whatever it takes to, to turn, or, turn this organization around uh, in whatever way we can. Obviously, uh, Cleveland deserves a win. Um, you know, and you, you hear all of the uh, all of the, the messages that are coming from the fans, and they're they're very prideful uh, with their Cleveland Browns. And so now it's on us to do whatever we can from our positions uh, to to reward them for the uh, commitment that they have to our organization.